Welcome back everybody. Just wanted to make a shorter video today on one of my more favorite site setups. You'll see it here. It is the excess dot sites. I got them in uh, tritium front and tritium rear. I believe they come in non-tritium where you can get a tritium front and non-tritium rear. Um, not exactly positive about that, pretty sure. But these are not the big dots that you see all the time. Excess also makes a standard dot where the front dot is a lot smaller. So if you have vision that's not the best, you'd probably want to go with the bigger dot. I still have pretty good vision and I like the smaller dot and it's also more accurate. But you'll see how it works. You just pretty much dot the eye. You line up the front dot on the rear and press the trigger. The nice thing about it you'll see is it's not a standard notch. It's got a little, it's like a very, very shallow V. So the field of vision, when you're looking at a target, you can still see to both sides of it. And the only thing that's covering up the target is the dot. And it is more of a combat sight setup where you put the dot on what you want to shoot, not below it or above it. And let's see if I can get the back to focus. You see what the back looks like. It's just a tritium bar versus the tritium front. Come on, focus. Just a white outline tritium front. And it is the front sight is rounded. It's not square like traditional, if this will ever focus. And then you install the front just like normal with a brass punch or a slide tool. I mean, not a slide tool, a sight pusher. And then the rear, you just slide on. And those two holes, it comes with an Allen wrench. This little guy here, and I can always tell it's the one they send with it because it's curved. We'll tighten up the Allens in the back, and they also include a little vial of enough blue Loctite to change the sights 2,000 times. But that's pretty much it. This is the M11A1, all tricked out, butter smooth, and I have the dot sights on it. The first time you use these, you might not be as accurate as you think you are. I don't know why a lot of my friends that shoot this gun, it takes them a minute or two to get used to having these sights, but I shoot them just fine and I really like them. They advertise them as the fastest sights as far as acquiring your sight out there, and I must say they are pretty quick. These may not be my favorite sights, but they're definitely up there, probably in my top two. So if you're ever thinking about them, that's them. I recommend them. Nice, skinny sight in the back not too big or bulky and you can still catch your pocket or anything if you need a racket and yeah that's the sights so if you have any questions leave a comment down below or a question and i'll get to you but that's the sights and i like them thanks everybody for watching if you have any questions or comments please feel free to put them below in the comment section if you haven't already, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking that little circle that pops up there. And remember, if you're looking for a new pet or animal, please adopt. There's thousands of animals looking for a new home, and that home could be with you. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.